Um, yeah, that was, uh, uh... Oh. Oh. Here we go. I like it when it boomerangs, but I don't like it because he doesn't do as much damage. I will say, though, that that was one of the more... That was one of the times where I had, uh... Uh, become incredibly freaked out over something like that because just to just to think of that just the thought of that and then and then he stayed there for another six months before he eventually moved out so just to, just to stay there is 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 a, is a horrifying thought all right we're gonna get these two canisters what cuts am I on I'm not in the main one am I uh, I think it's this one. All right, nice. I will say that 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 is that is one of the times though that I have been truly, truly creeped out by a story. Uh, it is it is really hard to get me uh to scare me. Like I don't scare easy. I'm I'm usually a pretty laid back person. <laughs> You fuckers look exactly the same. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's like, I won't tell you no. Um. Yeah, but uh, I don't think I've ever been uh quite freaked out uh in my life though. But I I, I never I never scare. Like, although well, it's a rare occurrence to actually freak me out, but. I will say that I, I became very close, I, I, not very close, uh, there was a, a, uh, a movie I went and saw a little while ago that, for lack of a better term, had scared the shit out of me, it was the, uh, it was The Conjuring 2, and the first one kind of creeped me out, but I was never really scared of it, and the second one, however, James Wan is a, like, for lack of a better term, he's a fucking madman, I mean, like, I love the work he does, and I loved The Conjuring, but just the way he, like, does shit is so terrifying. Like, that fucking movie, like, there were points where my fucking heart was, like, racing because of the amount of shit that, uh, uh, that James had put into that movie, and, uh, to give, to give James Wong credit for tackling a story like that, it was, they, they went, they, they focused on the, on the Enfield haunting. In the Conjuring 2. And uh, the Enfield haunting essentially has all these parallels to the Amityville haunting. Not to mention that uh, it is believed that the same spirit who was in the Amityville haunting, who was in the Amityville house, uh, haunted the, the family in Enfield in England. And so the, uh, it, the movie starts out at the Amityville house, shows a little bit of that, and it links that to the Enfield right off the bat. And then it shows all the shit that the Enfield, uh, that, that the Enfield, uh, family had gone through and uh it tackled it tackled a lot of the stuff how like people didn't believe it was a uh, it was true and how some people did and the movie uh from what i had read about the actual haunting after i saw the movie and i like it encouraged me to go to go uh to go research it more, and, uh, for lack of a better term, that movie wasn't based off a true story, that movie was a more of a fucking reenactment, which really creeped me out more because of what was in the fucking movie, uh, so, that, cool I think, scared beans. me the most, and just the, the shit that he put in that movie, I, I, I have, I have not been the same since, I have been paranoid as hell. For you. One what? Of the best ways to take out one of them infected freak I can make a couple more. Oh, yeah. three bottles. Bring me. Well, three I'm bottles. Not going nowhere. No, I'm good. As a matter of fact, though, I am gonna upgrade that stuff. But that was uh Yeah, watching The Conjuring was the uh was the epitome of uh scary. What was it? Find. Check the two ga uh, two packs of juice. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. I don't want to give you your alcohol. I'm going to store all the alcohol so I can sell it. Uh, 
Oh my god. I like how I just said a little while ago that I was a really good driver in Dead Island and I fucking crashed into a side of the car and not even fed on. Now comes the portion of this where I run out of stories to tell and I become really, really boring, so that's gonna be nice. Yep, there it is again. Damn it. My goal is to uh, make the stream unwatchable. That's my goal. Make, make the videos unwatchable. I want to just cross the lines with YouTube and just see how far I can go. Because I'm a little channel and no one is going to really pay attention to me, so that means I can do whatever the hell I want. If I was a bigger channel, I wouldn't take any risks, but I'm going to take as many risks as possible. Perfect example. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, videos I have on my channel they have music that is not mine, so, uh, but, like, I don't get in trouble for it, thank God. I use music from, like, GTA 5, I'll use, you know, the radio uh, station music, like, in the logins in there. Uh, and I, and I can get away with it, because I'm a small channel, so nobody really watches my stuff. If I was a bigger channel, I can guarantee you that, uh, I'd get strikes on my channel, but I have not gotten a strike since, because I don't use other people's content. If I do, I ask permission for it. Alright. I, sh I should upgrade the uh, the slicer, but... I don't... I, well, I'll... I assume it's only gonna get bigger, so I'm just not gonna upgrade it yet until I have a lot of money. But, I will sell some shit I that I have acquired. I don't care. came from out of space. Yeah, well, it didn't. You're an idiot. Hmm. Anything useful? Bolts. Birch. All right. Are we still on chapter two? Holy shit! Feels like I've been doing a lot stuff a lot more than chapter two. Thanks, mate. I was losing. You look. I've tried every frequency. Meanwhile. I was afraid even. Oh, oh, great, great, great. Okay, we got the truck. The truck. Truck, 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 truck. Nice. Okay. So this is the point where we go fuck you to the Sun Moy because after this truck we and we give him the food, we really leave him alone after this, so it's great. Yeah, uh, those juice packs are still there. Oh my god. I'm so happy because one of the four things I purchased from the Rooster Teeth store had just came in today. I, I had bought two things, or I bought uh, some stuff for my sisters with the paycheck I had gotten. So I was like, all right, I'm going to give you guys some stuff. Because uh, I, I really couldn't get them anything on their birthday, so I gave I made it up to them. I bought Samantha the all of All Time t-shirt where it's a line from uh, Reverse Blue Season 6. And I went ahead and I bought it for them, or for, for her. And then for my other sister, Maddie, I had bought... Uh, I bought the Sarge 2 poster. It's a it's a movie parody in Red vs. Blue. And I bought that for, for Maddie. And then uh, for myself, I bought two uh, Rooster Teeth posters. I bought the Funhouse yearbook poster and then the Achievement or the Achieve Wars poster, which is the Star Wars spoof. So I, I bought those and I, I'm really confident, really happy. It cost me $60 with the shipping. And I uh, and one of, the th one of the four things came today. The other three are going to be here tomorrow, which I'm going to do. Can't wait to do an unboxing video for that. Uh, yeah, I, I got a paycheck of four hundred and eighty dollars, and I blew it all. I didn't get it from YouTube, so don't worry. You. I didn't uh, didn't disclose anything, so. But I had gone and I did that right, and I blew it all. I blew four hundred in one day, and I and I uh, I blew the rest, and I've I've gotten a little bit of money afterwards, but I blew, and I I feel really accomplished because I went and I uh it was all, it was money well spent. It's absolutely worth it. I had a great time. Money can't buy everything, but it bought a fucking day of happiness and a fucking headache afterwards. I partied so hard on Friday, the Friday I got the paycheck. But that money went towards Dead Island, so cheers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look, listen, buddy. Oh, I can't even get a hit on you. Nice. Okay, I, I know what I was gonna have to go. Oh, 
Oh, you, you whore. God damn it. Don't ever give me tips in this game. The one thing I hate is they give you tips. You could die of, of something unrelated to the tips. And they will still fucking uh, tell you something like, if you, you, you die from an infected, be sure to grab everything around you. Like, that's not gonna help me against a fucking infected. I, I'm gonna, I feel like talking a lot of shit today. Nice, I think we're on chapter three now, so I think this is the point. Yeah, okay. Every chapter, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one thing every chapter. So this uh this has been the end of chapter two, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this. I'm gonna go ahead and get back into chapter I'll get into chapter three tomorrow. Uh because it is very late at night. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. If you want to see the streams live, uh go ahead and follow me on Twitch. And if you want to help my channel grow, share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.